Dr. Carol Angela Davis, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration says in 2017, 46 million U.S. adults experienced a mental illness, 47,000 people died by suicide, 70,000 people died from drug overdoses, and 19.7 million people over the age of 12 suffered from some form of substance addiction. So tell me this, why are the insurance companies working so hard not to pay for mental health services? It's not right. Okay, Bloomberg is reporting that insurance coverage of mental health and addiction services is still not adequate 10 years after the law was passed. Insurers are denying claims, they're limiting coverage, and they're using subtle methods to avoid following the rules and paying for your mental health services. That brings us to our slay word of the week, capitulation, okay, the act of ceasing to resist an opponent or demand. Write to your congressman, people, okay? We need to get immediate capitulation from the insurance companies on this important health care issue and they need to be covering your health care issues okay now according to Bloomberg some of the techniques used to block treatments include padding provider directories with clinics that don't even accept new patients or requesting enormous amounts of paperwork before approving treatment that's so nasty and mean one man said he found a great number of the insurance providers given to him by his insurance company guess what they were no longer practicing and some of them were dead now, you know they ought to be ashamed of themselves for doing something like that, okay? So the insurance companies look good on paper, folks, but they're not really trying to pay for mental health challenges and mental health issues, and they're very important. We need them paid for. Okay, in 2008, the Mental Health Parity and Addiction Equity Act was passed, and guess what, folks? It requires, okay, it requires insurers to provide the same coverage, equivalent coverage for mental health that it's the same that it does for regular medical treatment. So if your insurance company isn't doing that, you need to report them to the State Insurance Licensing Bureau. I'm Carol Angela Davis. Thanks for watching.